How exciting for me to be able to travel all around the world and share my story. And then especially to have this chance today to come and visit with you. And when I get a chance to speak at a, at a high school class or a university class, I'm always excited about it. I'm limited in time, so I wanted to use this way to come and share my story with you and some ideas that might be helpful in your career for the future, in your now busy life as a student, and then wherever you find yourself in the years to come, some of the things I'm going to share with you, I want you to remember for a long, long time, because the ideas I want to translate for you drastically affected my life. And if I can share now and affect your life, and you write me a letter, or tell me in person someday, Mr. Rohn, I listened to your video, and I watched it carefully, and sure enough, some of the ideas that you shared greatly affected me, and here's what's happened to my bank account, here's what happened to me in school, here's what's happening to my future, that'll give me great, great satisfaction. So the man who shared with me ideas that changed my life, I want to share with you three of those basic subjects. Uh, when I met him, I was 25 years old, and uh, when I first got acquainted with him, I used a lot of excuses as to why I wasn't doing well. And uh, he said, well, tell me a little bit about your story. And I told him, you know, I was behind on my bills, and had pennies in my pocket, and nothing in the bank, that I was embarrassed about being behind on my big mouth promises to my family. And then he gave me one little simple phrase that really forever changed my life. And here's what he said. Mr. Rohn, if you want the future to change for you, you've got to change. And he said, if you don't change, the next six years of your life is going to be just like the last six. You'll still be behind on your bills. You'll still be behind on your promises. But then he gave it to me in the form of a promise. When I was 25 years old, I've remembered it all these years, and I've shared this promise now with probably over 3 million people in the last 30-plus years. And it's going to be valid for you, so listen carefully to this promise. My teacher said to me, young man, if you will change, everything will change for you. If you will get better, everything will get better for you. What a clear message that was for me. He said, if you'll change your philosophy, if you'll change your habits, if you'll refine your thinking, if you'll change and accept some new disciplines, if you'll turn the corner where you've been in the past, go for a new life for the future. He said, all kinds of remarkable things will happen for you if you will change. Before I met Mr. Shope, I used to cross my fingers and say, I sure hope things will change. I was hoping the government would change and the tax structure would change and that my boss would change and pay me more money. Uh, I was hoping that, you know, economics would change and prices would come down and I was hoping that circumstances would get better. And then I discovered from my teacher that those things are going to continue the same. In fact, all of those things that happen to us is kind of like the wind that blows. And the wind blows on us all. In fact, in America especially, the last six and a half thousand years of recorded history, we've got probably the most favorable wind that's ever blown. Economics and circumstances, living in a free country, democracy and freedom, uh, an excellent economy. Uh, sure, we struggle at times, but compared to the rest of the world in the last six and a half thousand years, we've got the best wind ever. But if you just let the wind blow, I'm telling you, it won't take you where you want to go. All of us must use this wind to take us to the dreams we've got, to the equities we want, to the money we want, to the income we want, and to all the things we want our life to have, this is where we want to go, and we've got a good wind, but we must not leave our future just to the wind, just to the economy, uh, just to the structure of the way things are happening today. Here's what we must learn to do, and that is set a good sail. And if you'll learn to set a good sail, and that's what my teacher taught me in those early days. He said, Mr. Rohn, the wind is going to blow however it's going to blow. Politics are going to be politics, and the economy is going to be the economy. And however it turns out, that's the way it's going to be. What you must learn to do is not to wish for a better wind. That's naive. The key is to wish for the wisdom and the skills and the learning so that you can set a better sail. And so that's what I did at age 25. I went to work not on the economy, 
I went to work not on the community. I didn't go to work to try to change the government. I didn't go to work to try to change my boss or the company. I didn't go to work to try to change circumstances. I went to work to try to change myself. And I picked up that promise my teacher shared with me, that if I would change, my income would change. If I would change, my bank account would change. If I would change, my future would change. And sure enough, his promise came true for me. The first six years of my economic life, I wound up broke. Those pennies in my pocket, nothing in the bank, behind on my promises. The second six years of my economic life, I wound up rich. But interestingly enough, the second six years of my economic life, the government was about the same and the economy was about the same. You know, the companies were about the same. What they paid was the same. Uh, circumstances around me were the same. You know, my negative relatives were the same. But I was not the same. That's how my life changed. And that's how things started working for me, uh, changing my life all those years ago. So that's what I wanted to share with you to begin with, this beginning of what Mr. Shove shared with me, that if I wanted my life to change, this was what I was going to have to do. And so he broke it down into three subjects that really made an impact on my life, and I want to share those with you. The first subject he called personal development. And the second subject he called setting goals. And the third was how to become financially independent. And I'd like to give you just a few clues from those three major subjects that, that so dramatically affected my life 